Vegas. She not only stars on one of TV's hottest shows, NCIS, she is also an AIDS Walk star walker. And she was last year's fifth highest AIDS Walk fundraiser with more than $12,000 raised last year alone. She's right here, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome actress, humanitarian, and AIDS Walk fundraiser extraordinaire, Holly Perrette. Thanks, y'all. I'm from Alabama, so I can say y'all all I want. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, uh, this is a very brief um, little thing here, but it's all very important. So uh, it'd be awesome if you listen. You don't have to listen to me, but the other people are far more important than me. Maybe we give a little respect to them. I don't really demand much respect. Um, and I can't see without my glasses, so. I got a bunch of little cards I have to navigate, so be patient. Um, and it's not very well lit, so this is like a, uh, it's like a reality show challenge. Um, oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> with what I'm supposed to say. Um, I, I'm so happy to be here. I've been walking at AIDS Walk for longer than I can remember. They always say, how many years? I'm like, I have no idea. I wasn't that good at it when I was a punk rocker in New York. Um, I really wasn't. I had like a white mohawk and I was all like, you know, I had all my punk rock street cred and all that crap. But I didn't really understand, and it was before the internet, so nobody knew anything, um, or nobody knew anything that false or true, either way. But I would, I would just go and follow. I feel so bad for you right now. I talk really fast. I'm so sorry. And I talk weird. And I'm from Alabama. Like I'm sorry. It's like when, when, uh, when you know, we're in 20 countries and these people that have to dub Abby's voice in other languages, I'm like, that's the worst job on the planet Earth. <laughs> like, say 12-letter words in science and make it really fast and funny in German. Um, uh, anyway, but yeah, so I used to just go kind of join the crowd at Ace Walk because I, I was, you know, I, I was definitely involved in New York and those New York days were super rough. I lost people that I loved. Um, but now it's like, you know, now as an adult person perhaps and, and with, with more legitimate hair, maybe, um, I, I, you know, the, the whole fundraising part and the help of the internet and what we're doing now is outstanding and really every single person that's here, thank you, um, every single contribution that you make, volunteering by your funds, by, by fundraising, with your AIDS walk, every step that you take is helping and it really is helping in a real way, so thank you yourself. Okay, now I'm going to get all proper and say what I'm supposed to say. Um, good evening, everyone. <laughs> it's such an honor to be with you tonight as we look forward to these next very important weeks of fundraising leading up to the big day. I want to acknowledge you for all that you've done already. Last year, we raised $2.5 million. Project Los Angeles and more than 20 other Los Angeles County AIDS organizations. With these extraordinary fundraising efforts, APLA and the other community HIV AIDS organizations provide food, medical and dental care, counseling, safe housing, and so much more for thousands of Los Angeles who are living with HIV and AIDS. It's such important work as you all know, and it's saving lives. And again, thank you. Number two. I'm trying to be efficient here with my. Uh, uh, right? Am I under card number two? Where are you? Okay. Because it didn't say I'm card number one, like, to be continued. Uh, tell me this is Val. Okay. Hi, Val. Um, this is a fun one for me because I have to read. Uh, I'm here to tell you about some of the exciting new programs at APLA made possible by your efforts. We have with us an HIV, AIDS, and LGBT community activist who is also the Chief Operating Officer at APLA's new, brand shiny new, Health and Wellness Center. I'm just going to tell you real quick, I was with Val and the team down at our new a APLA Health and Wellness Center. People, this is huge. This is no small affair. It is gorgeous. If you get a chance to stop by, I was so 
so humble. I was so excited. It's state-of-the-art health care for people that are living with HIV AIDS for real. Like dentist, uh, eyes. I, I, I have a little counseling on there. I'm not actually going to be counseling anybody because I would probably suck at that. But I help get the room together. But it is beautiful. We, you, we, we should all be very proud of yourselves. I feel ner and nervous and that, it, that I'm the only one other than a couple that have seen it. Because you, you have to see it to believe it. And the person who is in charge of all this and who I adore so much, please welcome Valerie Wagner. Yeah. 